everyone welcome to foresight tv with me anjali the election commission of india has recently expressed its preparedness for implementing the concept of one nation one election in accordance with the legal provisions according to the chief election commissioner under the provisions of the representation of the people act elections can be announced up to 6 months before the completion of a government's 5 year tenure this holds true not only for the central government but also for state assemblies Let's delve into the significance of this development and its potential impact on the Indian democratic process. Here's a special report from Foresight TV. Amis an intense political debate surrounding the BJP's proposal for simultaneous elections to the Lok Sabha and state assemblies chief election commissioner Rajiv Kumar stated on Wednesday that the election commission is prepared to conduct elections in accordance with the legal provisions speaking at a press briefing in Bhopal about the preparations for the upcoming assembly elections in Madhya Pradesh the CAC emphasized that their responsibility is to ensure timely election as specified by the constitution and the representation of the people act he explained that under the provisions of the rp act elections can be announced 6 months before the government's 5 year tenure ends and a similar situation applies to state assemblies kumar reaffirmed that they are mandated to conduct the elections and are fully prepared to do so in compliance with legal procedures last saturday the government formed an eight member committee to examine and provide recommendations on simultaneous elections to the lok sabha state assemblies municipalities and panchayats citing national interest in madhya pradesh there are a total of 230 assembly seats including 47 reserved for scheduled tribes that is st and 35 for scheduled castes that is sc the state has approximately 5.52 crore voters consisting of 2.85 crore males 2.67 crore females and 1336 transgenders both the ruling bjp and the congress as the primary opposition party have been focusing their efforts on women votes by implementing schemes centered around them the election commission has also been working to increase female voter turnout through various awareness campaigns kumar mentioned that they have made efforts to ensure inclusive electoral rolls and have successfully registered 18.86 lakh new voters Additionally they have identified 6920 polling stations where female voter turnout is 10% lower than male turnout and are conducting multiple awareness campaigns in these areas. The tribal seats in the state hold immense importance due to their significant representation accounting for approximately 21% of the population. The election commission has taken notable measures to enhance the participation of particularly vulnerable tribal groups in the electoral process. By establishing polling centers every 2 kilometers even in remote and inaccessible rural areas, the EC aims to ensure better turnout among the PVTGS. Madhya Pradesh houses three PVTGS namely Saharia, Bahria and Bhaiha tribal groups. These efforts have e and crucial in prompting inclusivity and empowering these marginalized communities. Thank you for watching Foresight TV with me Anjali.